one phone call can change somebody's life. Correct. So from time to time, what I do sometimes, I can take a phone call and check my friends out. Hey, how are you doing? How, how are you? Doing? Is yeah. everything okay? You know? Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Self Seed Podcast and you are in Season 3, Episode 20 and today we have Kizwalo with me here and we are going to share a couple of things and we are going to see how we can build our mental health because he is an ambassador of mental health and he's doing great things and I don't want to spoil it for you so I hope you can follow us along the way and you'll grab a thing or two from him and i hope you'll enjoy the session and remember the self seed podcast is your friend in personal growth and we want to grow with you we want to uh, change lives with you we want, uh, as i transform my life i hope you can also uh, be transformed so we cover all topics entrepreneurship financial literacy uh, education learning creativity uh, time management and so on and much more and to uh, this episode is available on all major platforms as well spotify perhaps if you're listening maybe you're listening on apple Podcasts or spotify or even youtube and don't forget to click that subscribe button and welcome welcome bro welcome to the podcast thank you, thank you so much i'm really i'm really i really appreciate being yeah. inside today i'm really happy to have you on the podcast because uh, i've been looking at your um, works and i've been following along and i think i like what you're doing so i thought why not have a podcast with you where you can share with us and we can also grab a thing or two from you uh, yeah, the great you things so that you're doing I really appreciate you, son Hannah, uh, so that we can have a chit chat together and learn from right. each other. Right. So I think this can be an opportunity. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So to start with, uh, I, I would like you to maybe uh, introduce yourself so that people can know you. Maybe share with us a little bit of your story, how you have gone so far, and you know, just share with us uh, any relevant uh, mm. thing, any relevant story of your life and from there on maybe people will be interested and they will be engaged welcome uh, my name is kizolo simbila uh, i'm a tanzanian young entrepreneur uh, a mental health advocate a businessman i can call mm. an opportunist so that uh, you know i'm trying to grab some different opportunities and see how can you create an impact right and um Recently, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a managing director and a CEO of mm. a company called What Connect Company Limited. Right. And so far, I have also different program pro projects that I'm doing. Right. Uh, that includes the School Biz Network and um, I Connect Tanzania. Um, I'm a graphic designer, content creator uh, for fun, though it's, it has become a part of my interest so that I can see how can I create opportunities through it? Right. And I think those are the stuff that made me who I am today and the things that I'm doing. So oh. if you observe much on what I've been doing, I uh, have, we have a lot of contents that we have been uh, I doing all I that, agree. you know, so mm. that people can learn through what we're doing and different, different projects. Right. I, I love when, when, when I meet fellow young people, fellow youth, fellow, uh, hustlers who are trying to mm. make it in life but at the same time trying to inspire others into a change and i love the way that you're doing it through um, the advocacy of mental health and having fun it's just uh, interesting how you're trying to create an ecosystem of your of yourself so maybe right. to start with you can uh, try to let us know uh, what is what to connect because uh, I understand the meaning of the word, but maybe you can try to let us know what is what to connect, I connect, and later mm -hmm. on maybe share with us about the school biz network so that we can get to know, my man. All right, what to connect? It's um, it's a Swahili English word, right? Uh, meaning what with people, right? And connect is all about the connection. So it's like uh, it's a platform, it's a mental health platform where we bring the youngsters together, right? Uh, in in learning uh, about mental health yeah. in different angles yeah. through games uh creating a network that, that people can get to know each other uh through different programs uh that uh, can bring the people together so that we can do what we do and sit in cycles and people open up right. and see how can we help the people in um in mental health and the story started on 2018 when i was in when i was in china right. i had something called um i talk network mm. so i had the idea of creating a platform whereby we can sit and talk about 
anything with the students right so they can they can have a platform that people can learn through them you know in mm. different programs mm. and uh, i think when the covid started mm. uh there are some stuff that i started to experience right not me not, not me per, per specifically but um i had friends who are the who they were passing through some stuff you know right. through the lockdowns and all that right. and I, i didn't have any knowledge about the mental health Mm -hmm. I think when I left China coming back to Tanzania I had an opportunity to start learning about the um, about mental, uh, health. About mental health yeah? yeah but I'm not a I'm not a, I'm not a medical kind of guy uh, yeah. I know nothing about <laughs> uh, about these things uh. but I said why could in I create um, a platform where by through the platform it can be a, an opportunity for me to learn too because we have uh, psychologists Uh, in in our communities that we use them to help others through our gatherings and our that's movement cool, cool. you know yeah yeah so i think that's when i had to think about the mental health generally because uh tanzania or africa at large yeah. mental health is something new you know right to me i say it's something that's brought to the whites you know <laughs> we are really not used to this stuff <laughs> right so uh And I realized through the research that I've been doing, uh, mm. Tanzania has very few players in mental health. Right. And I really thank God uh, the the year before, uh, I think that's um 2022. Right. That's when even the government started um, keeping efforts advocating in mental health and having these crusades right. and seminars, you know, every year. So at least it's something that's that's growing now mm, mm. before it's something that nobody will understand you because when you tell somebody hey you have this issue somebody may know maybe it's, it's witchcraft you know? yeah yeah let, let me know maybe it's some sort of uh, thing maybe given by somebody or it yeah. is it but uh <laughs> theoretically yeah. there are stuff that we need to uh we need to air out so that people can really understand what mental health is that's right. what trying our best to advocate it so that we can reduce the stigma mm. in our community. Mm. So I think uh starting it I started it on 2020 uh 22 right around August I said uh this, this could be the year maybe I can give it a try you know. Yeah. Where, where I was staying uh, I had my friends so I said uh, let's give it a shot. Right. And we can do one event and see how it goes you know right so what i did uh because i'm a graphic designer so i had to create a poster whereby we we, we can uh, welcome the people around so that we can join you know they can network uh make stories play games you know those interactions kind of eat together as yeah. a family but we yeah. get time we sit in cycles you know yeah. we yeah. talk and we see what people are passing through what are the challenges that they have right uh, so doing that On my first event I really received more than 70 youth. Yeah. And for me it was it, it was a big thing because I really didn't expect such a number. Yeah. So I, I when my first event um was a success, I had uh, I had the courage of doing another one, you know. Right. So the same month is like we did two 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 events like the first month we did the trial that yeah. happened very positive yeah. and the end of the month We had to do another one in an apartment sort of you know cooking people playing video games yeah i saw you know, that yeah other people yeah. networking but we get time we sit in cycles yeah. we just have different topics in different events right uh, so that people can you know can debate talk about anything that we we have and learn more about the industry so since then until now we have been doing an impact you know the community is really growing in right. a good number because mm. after people seeing what we do Uh, they really love what you do they really want to come you know so that includes also event. traveling because mm. you know when we stay in town we have a lot of stuff going on right so living out of town getting places that you can chill chill our minds you know mm. that can be a time whereby people can be at this they can be relaxed right. uh, and and think uh, they can have time to enjoy and have fun right. you know so we can we use also these opportunities of traveling going out, out, out of the of, of the country right. uh, so that we can see how can we do what we do and learn outside of the places 
So through that, it has become a very, very, very impactful community to me and to the others. Because as long as I have the community, right. it's also a place whereby uh, we, co- we collect or we do a lot of content creations. Correct. Because those are the stuff that are going in YouTube and all the social platforms mm. so that people can learn also through mm. the platforms and see what we do best. And also it can, it, it's, it's bringing more and more and more people. Right. Because for my research, I realized, you know, the youth that we have, it's not about going in an in a in a in a in an indoor place, sitting in chairs, just listening to the seminars. Some stuffs are really boring. Yeah. So I, I thought maybe uh, attracting these people and bringing them together, mm. uh, we don't have to bring something very serious, but we can create this fun kind of community where we enjoy with right. different activities, playing games, creating meetups whereby people get to know each other, you know, mm. uh, and through that community, we create the way on learning through the ecosystem that we have and creating right. different contents from time to time. So that's what we have been doing so far. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, it, it, uh, I've been following around for quite some time now. And I think I even told you before the podcast and it, yeah. it's such an amazing job that you guys are doing because it looks like people are having fun whenever they uh, you guys are going for an activity or anything that you guys prepare. And it's super cool when you see young people hanging out, uh, talking, exchanging, because I mean, not all people get that privilege of uh, accessing uh, where you can sh- connect with like minded people. Right where you can connect and share openly and be i mean we we see vulnerability as a bad thing but sometimes it's a good thing where we exp- express what we go through in our workplaces in our uh, education places in our normal Im- living environment and maybe what i go through i believe someone else uh, has gone through and mm. even when i look at it from a perspective that's why i started the podcast in in 2018 it was because I believe that what what I have gone through, perhaps someone else is struggling with, or what I am struggling with, someone else has overcome it. And why not hear from another person? Why not look from another person's perspective? And that's right. awesome. Uh, I, I saw there's there's a time where you guys were having not just fun, you were eating good, which I mean is an essential part <laughs> of uh, going out. And yeah, sometimes you go to high kings. I saw you do All mountain right. climbing. Yeah, so mm. it's it's cool, and I love the origin of the idea. Is just to mm. connect people, as it's you know, Oh yeah, because you know, mental health doesn't have it, it has different angles on the approach and how you can feel good and remove stress for yourself. Right, hiking can be one of the thing. Nature walks, you know. Right, um, we can have. Uh, People can do sports like swimming, running, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and it, it depends on how can somebody feel, feel good about himself. Others do music, you know, just music therapy, yeah. art therapy, like drawing that. So you have different ways on how people can can be can can be feeling good with the mental health. Right. So we can have different approaches on knowing how can we uh, use them and bring the community together and do what we do so that, that that's 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 good the way you deal with it and i wanted to know um there's this uh how to say there's this thought that people have about mental health as, as you mentioned especially in tanzania in africa or in other parts of the world uh, it happens in various places where we don't see the problems of mental health as as a problem and we try to cut them with with uh something else maybe someone is suffering from something and we are saying uh he is like that because he's not doing this but rather it's just a mental issue that we have to address uh this health problem and what are some of the um uh in your research in your experience what are some of the uh hindrances drawbacks of uh, this mental health issue in tanzania let's say or in east africa how has Mm. it been uh when you look at how it has been how it is where it's going what are some still things that you're facing even when you post your content or when you invite people do all people understand what it really means to deal with mental health or you know Mm. mm. yes i get actually starting before getting to somebody getting to know what you do 
Mm. We may know that uh, t- Tanzania uh, has uh, different people who experience things that you, you may not know. According to the statistics, they say within 10 people, uh, two people may have mental health issues. Mm. So I may have a friend like weekly, every day, laughing, enjoying, but you really don't know what he's passing through. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm. that's when until somebody opens up and you realize that hey this guy has a problem so we really need to, to to seek for help to seek for help yeah our challenge or the challenges that uh, i noticed or that we have yeah. is that people are really really hard to open up yeah generally like africans uh mm. we really love uh <laughs> keeping the stuff with the, within ourselves yeah and solving it by ourselves and dying with them you know yeah, without right. sharing it to anybody right you get so sometimes that can be a challenge and it's it can be tricky but through the advocacy that we're doing uh mm. so we, we're really trying our best so that we can reduce the stigma mm. and through my research and the sessions and the meetups that we're doing mm. we have been learning and no and realizing that in our community because we may have some tricky questions whereby right. when somebody answers or somebody want to uh, give uh, their thought on it mm. or people open up in a way mm. you know? so mm. that can be it can be a positive thing that we see things are happening because until somebody tell you what he's passing through yeah. it can be a challenge because yeah. maybe people can be shy or they're, they're really afraid of talking Trust their people. stuff out yeah, you know? yeah. mm. that's why uh we it can be one of the of idea on how we can make people open up right because it's very hard me calling you and telling hey i have this issue because it's very hard to trust trust somebody you know right right and that's why sometimes i really advise hmm. people also one phone call can change somebody's life correct so from time to time uh what i do sometimes i can take a phone call and check my friends out hey how are you doing how, how are you, are you? Yeah. Is everything okay you know yeah and at that time we really don't know what somebody is passing through right so that one phone call can create an impact of you know of changing somebody's life maybe you won't know somebody wanted to kill himself yeah or somebody has a depression issue yeah. and you really don't have somebody to talk to mm. so from time to time that helps also right so in Tanzania, mental health is somebody, something that's growing. And at uh, this time, at least, we have some organizations that are coming up with different ways on handling the mental health, especially in advocacy. Right. Uh, and we say maybe for these, these years that we're going, mm. we may have two, two angles that we may deal with uh, mental health advocacy and uh, re- reduction of the stigma that we have. Right that's why we are trying our best to make people learn and get to know more about mental health because somebody when you can talk to him about mental health he won't understand you right you know? so until you explain you know what 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 mental health is through the videos through the community gatherings that we do through mm. the different approach that we do it may be podcast or anything mm. that's it, it it builds something and it, it creates an impact in a way right because so i uh, think that yeah that's that's awesome and and when i saw one time that you guys were planning to i thought i thought you were planning to do a podcast and i was really i think excited to think okay these guys are already addressing mental health and now they decide to do you know a local language podcast Mm -hmm. or whatever that language you'd use but to reach those youth that you intend to reach and some of them cannot come to your events but once you have these constant talks with different people different perspectives and maybe during your your activities you have these people sharing and people can people from other ends of the world or places can listen to this conversation and together they will uh, personally those people will start feeling oh so there's someone at some point somewhere in the world is going through the same thing i'm going with and uh, uh you mentioned it uh, uh, out that it's not i think it's not only limited by geography but most people in the world uh or more in most places they they have the that stigma of yeah i have to deal with it um as men say i i'm a man i have to keep it to myself i have to deal with it 
and because when i say maybe i'll look like a you know weakling or mm -hmm. so people decide to okay you know what let me deal with it and this is how people end up uh killing themselves or uh becoming some of them they even lose their minds right, because of right. these issues and you you also mentioned how you're dealing with it from two perspectives one is you know the advocacy and the second one is the um stigma uh, reduction yeah the stigma reduction and about the advocacy how how has the response been so far do you think um apart from the people that you are mm -hmm. you are influencing does those who are you are in physical contact with people reaching out are there people reaching out from far places maybe saying yeah i love your programs yeah it's helping me some in some way and yeah how's the response been so far actually a podcast can be one thing mm. but uh, we have uh, different ideas on how we can reach out the community right we have people who do poetry mm. uh, we have people who do art therapy like drawing you know drawing, yeah uh, we have uh, people who do sports right so through this and through what we've been doing and sharing the activities on our social platforms right uh, we have a very positive impact whereby people really come up with problems right and they really need help right and that's when we we air out our psychologists so that they can see a way on helping them right so i think that's one of the impact on how our social platform Right. uh create a solution and uh our 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 uh, our co content creations with mental health and people learning out of it right. uh brings the people in and we are trying to look different ways on helping them right. you know right also uh we get a lot of response of people who really want to come to join our community mm, mm. like how do i join the community when right. is the next event how what is what to connect hey i love your stuff you know you get very positive impact right so i think also that gives us the energy of doing much much more because in in, in 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 a good sense we really have a very huge work You're right because according to the geography of what we have mm. we have people also who are in really located areas that we can't reach them yeah remote areas we, yeah. yeah. we can reach them is through our progress and our content you know depending yeah. on the podcast that we're doing mm. uh maybe poetry some poetry messages that you know the mental health we want to do the short stories so that yeah. people can learn with what we're doing mm. so you have a very wide angle on seeing how can we bring out uh, what we have to the community so right. that they can learn through what we're doing so i think the positive impact that have been getting so far uh are the other 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 things that they really they really need to be helped with because people who have mental health issues are the one who are really looking for us and looking for help hmm. that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool how you're you're keeping up the pace and you're uh, you. constantly doing uh the great work of as a young person as a youth trying to uh, share out that whatever that you think is happening to you it's difficult it's right. possible i mean it's possible because then we are securing a, a generation of people to come that will be mm -hmm. able to deal with things in a variety of ways because i don't think there's a one size fit all methodology in in dealing with mental health as you say there are people who use sports poetry music and and uh, events or talks and this is the way that they uh it's the therapeutic tools that people use and that's 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 awesome and now about uh i connect is it is it involved with what to connect in some way because you connect yeah you said i connect you connect uh -huh. and actually i've been a traveler for some times right i really really love to travel right i really love to see other people's culture uh, learn the new places right see how the people live mm. see the beauty of the places in different different ways so uh when i, I came to tanzania i, I had a i, I had an opportunity to see how can i rotate the country around and see more and more things that i haven't been seeing before because we really have a lot of good places right you know mm. we really have different cultures right. in, in our country right so uh reaching out to them the only thing that you have to do is just travel yeah. so me and my friends sometimes just get a car 
uh, plan a day and have a bucket list. Mm. It's like uh, this time, let's go this place. Cool. We just travel, go there, have do what to do, explore, create cool. contents, come back. So it became a habit. So through uh, what to connect and the traveling that I've been doing, mm. uh, it created uh, a passion for me to invest in traveling too. Right. Because we have, we really have a lot of people who are really want to come to Tanzania and explore the areas. So for me, it was also a business opportunity. Right. So through the passion that I had, I had to create opportunity out of it. Mm. So people from different places, Kenya, Uganda, and all the places, they want to really, they really want to go to Zanzibar. They yeah. want to go to, you know, national parks. They want yeah. to go to all different angles. So reaching out uh, to us is, uh, it's an opportunity for us to see how can we uh, help these guys explore. Because most of the places also, you know, we have gone in those places. Right. We know where the good places are. We know the security of the places. We know right. the hotels where to, you know, some yeah. some stuff that, you know, people can come and go. Yeah. So I think to me, I connect was born through the passion that I had and through the travels that I've been doing, connecting them with the, what to connect. Because mm. uh, when you travel also, it's just the same thing. So yeah. the same contest that we do in traveling, uh, the same contest that we do in I, 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 I connect as I mean. right.